talking to uh, some fellow protesters right here. Uh, they're with the Occupy Safe E. I'm, at, I'm with the Wake Pinellas, but we all mutually support each other's actions. And I was talking about how um, I came to uh, an awakening uh, in regards to Barack Obama. I was a big supporter of him uh, when he got elected. I was very moved by his election. And uh, in the last year and a half, I've really had an awakening that he's just a part of the same system. And that the real problem is corporate personhood and corporate legislation and the plutocracy that we live in today is a it's basically a corporate democracy if there was a few crumbs to fight over whether it's abortion or um, perhaps some tax breaks or whatnot but in the end the policies are just about the same and if you really want to take the, the, the cloth off your eyes and see the world you know Bill Clinton passed the NAFTA and GATT treaties that we're still you know feeling the feeling the sting from, as well as he was a supporter of the derivatives market, and um, he fired the whistleblower that blew the whistle on the derivatives market, uh, and then the economy collapsed in 2008. So how does how does Jeff Brandes fit into this? Well, Jeff Brandes, we're here at the ground level. This is where we can make some meaningful impact. At the Barack Obama level, like, or, you know, whatever it is, whoever's going to be his uh, competitor or the senatorial congressional levels, perhaps we can make some change, but really we're going against, the, like, wicked money. Here, um, this guy, he's being groomed for a top position. That's why we're focusing on him. He's someone that we can have an effect on. When these guys go to him and women go to legislate in uh, Tallahassee, they're going to know that, that there's a price to pay for this. And this is our second time we've targeted Jeff Brandes, and uh, when he goes up for re-election, it's not going to be as easy. He just doesn't get a free pass for being a Rick Scott shill. The kind of legislation that's been passed in Tallahassee has been devastating for the state. And there's a lot of corporate insider stuff that goes on with the, um, the what's called the Industrial Education Complex, the movement to privatize um, schools. We have the prison industrial complex, uh, which we did win a victory in that fight. For, they were wanting more uh, commercialization of uh, prisons, and we, we fought back and put pressure, and that didn't pass. And uh, so we're going to put the heat on these people. We're not going away. And, and if they want to groom people at the grassroots level, fine. We're going to run people against them. We're going to put pressure on them. We're not letting bow up, and we're not going away. Thank you.